Welcome everybody to Just My Opinion, or as I call it, JMO. Today, I'm gonna be talking about My Little Pony, which in another video, I mentioned that I have been watching for a while now. Okay, so My Little Pony. Well, we know it as the colorful, sing-along, brony type of My Little Pony. But from what we don't know, is it started as this movie by Bonnie Zachary. It eventually was passed on to Lauren Faust and turned into the TV show that we now know as My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic started around 2010 and ended just last 2019. I didn't pay it any mind after I finished second grade because I started liking Adventure Time during that time. But when I found out that My Little Pony ended, I immediately started watching it again. Because like many people, My Little Pony was a major part of my childhood. I actually have many tales of my childhood with My Little Pony. Like, the first time I ever cut class was to buy a My Little Pony Happy Meal. I was going for Twilight Sparkle. It was a figurine. The only reason I wanted the Twilight Sparkle one was because it was purple. I'm a simple person. I liked purple before. Anything with purple, I want it. But Twilight Sparkle was sold out. So I got Rainbow Dash instead and ruined the figurine's hair. Unintentionally, of course. YouTube also wasn't famous before, and usually I would just go to YouTube to watch music videos and stuff. But the one thing I would watch aside from music videos was My Little Pony short clips. I mean, before my siblings would suddenly become mad at me because I wouldn't stop watching My Little Pony. Like, it seemed like I was obsessed. Maybe I was. Who actually knows? But eventually, I drifted away from the fandom. And when it ended, yeah, I, I rewatched it. And now that I'm older, I can say that I still like it. It isn't as dumb as Little Einstein's or Dora, but it's not too serious like the original Teen Titans for it to be boring. It has some funny moments, some emotional moments, and the ending. My gosh, the ending was so, so satisfying for me, which is very unusual during TV shows. I just really liked how they went back to Ponyville, how they were able to tie up loose ends, like Daring Do, Big Mac, and even the students were shown in the finale. The six students, was that Sandbar, Silverstream, Ocellus, that Griffin guy, and Smolder, and Yona. The one thing I didn't like was sometimes the show can be cliche. Like, you know, friendship solves everything. And suddenly, sometimes the show steps on its own foot. Like, friendship can be very powerful friendship solves everything but they don't try to reform other villains like cozy glow t-rex and they give discord a chance why not give t-rex or cozy glow a chance they're less powerful than discord i mean he is the god of chaos some episodes also drag like the opening and the season finales were good but suddenly what the heck happened in the middle Sometimes, some ponies get hit with the idiot stick. Sometimes, it's just so sappy. Sometimes, it drags on. It's so boring because we've been through this a million times. Like, how many times have we seen Applejack clashing with Rainbow Dash? I mean, it's good at first, but eventually, it gets old. Though, the season openings and the season finales are good. It's exciting. It's just most middle episodes just lack either creativity or motivations. There are, there are some good episodes, but some not so good. 
like all their heart soul motivation and creativity just went to the season opening finales and some good episodes i mean my favorite episode that wasn't a season finale or opening must be that one episode that Silverstream went missing and Starlight, Trixie, Mudbriar, Maud, and some other people that I don't remember the name of are looking for her and they suddenly find her in that crystal clubhouse thing. I just really like it because it's the only one that really made me laugh hard because when Maud reacted to Mudbriar turning into stone. It's just hilarious to me. But the worst episode for me, the one that I was really bored of to sit through and I would just continuously move my mouse to see how long more the episode would last, was the one where Starlight taught Trixie the teleportation spell and the main six were learning lessons regarding when not or when to sing a song. Eh, I just don't like it. I found it boring. No offense to those people who liked that episode. Okay, now let's move on to my opinions on the characters. First off, the main six. I hate Rarity. I hate her face. I hate her singing voice. I hate everything about her. I don't have anything against the people that made her, that voiced her. I just hate everything about her because I hated her personality. She was stuck up, she abused Spike, and she was very... Uh, how do I explain this? Obsessive over fashion? I just hated that. I hate people who are like that. Uh, no offense if you're like that. I am so sorry. I am not pertaining to any of you guys Now, let's see. I love Fluttershy's caring nature She was the friendliest of them and practically the only one who isn't horrible to everyone I mean she is the element of kindness in the end She was able to reform so many people like Dr. Cavalieron Discord, oh my gosh, I ship her and Discord so much. I know some people don't, but I do. Rainbow Dash, I hated her arrogance. But I liked how she is willing to always stay by her friend's side. Even when she was part of the Wonderbolts. Even when she had adventures with her one and only idol, Daring Do. Even when she was successful and did so much things on her own, she wouldn't forget about her friends. I also like that when she says she can do something, she does it. And, you know, she's just really hardworking, and I respect that about her. Applejack. I really respect her hardworking nature as well, and her honesty. I really value honesty in people. Like, the instant you lie to me, you're done. I, I don't like you much anymore. <laughs> it's just that, I don't know why, but I value honesty. It's okay for you to gossip about me. It's okay for you to keep on bad-mouthing me to others. But the moment that I trust you, you lie to me, that's gonna be hard to regain my trust back, okay? Pinkie Pie, basically the clown of the group and the one who always makes everyone happy. I respect that about her. She knows how to socialize, make everyone happy, everyone accepts her as she is. Though sometimes she can be annoying and unnecessarily positive or unnecessarily chipper, you know? I like that she can be fun and social and positive but at the same time be very responsible organized and dependable when it comes to promises cakes and stuff i also really like that when she's sad her hair turns into this straight hair and her color suddenly changes i only wish that the animators kept the consistency like whenever she's sad her hair would suddenly turn straight not only when the plot 
uh, makes her really depressed <laughs> because that's depressing for her and for the audience now twilight at first i said i liked her because she was purple but as i got to know her character i hated how paranoid she is how even the simplest things would make her go crazy like oh no i dropped water what if somebody slips oh my gosh oh my gosh somebody could die because of me oh my gosh what am i gonna do yeah like that paranoid i i don't like those type of people who overthink too much because i'm the type of person who's like go with the flow most of the time but i completely understand her side of the story but there are really times where her actions are unjustifiable like that quiz thing one episode where she got Pinkie Pie disqualified just because she wanted to win and she went all crazy that was in season 9 um, maybe people won't remember it maybe people will but I hated her so much that episode her personality just drew me away from her character okay some side characters Trixie, the great and powerful Trixie, I can't do the R thing. I hate her arrogance. Sometimes she provides laughs, yeah, but whenever she becomes arrogant, I just don't like her. I suddenly skip forward, I hate her rants about how great and powerful she is, like, oh my gosh, have you ever heard of humility, lady? Okay, Starlight. The writers made her too OP. Like, they say the most powerful magic in the My Little Pony world is alicorn magic. But somehow, even when Twilight was training every day, she could still match up to S Starlight, you know? Starlight is still considered like more powerful than her. Starlight can make spells more than her. And it seems like Starlight just became the writer's favorite character. No? Sunburst, Starlight's childhood friend. I don't really care for him much, but I ship him with Twilight, and I'm not gonna lie. That one episode where he spent a day in Ponyville with Twilight in antiquing store, and uh, I just think they have this chemistry that made me ship them until the end. Sadly though, no one really got together with Twilight. Speaking of getting together with Twilight, Flash Sentry, where the heck did he go after Equestria Girls? I mean, I know Equestria Girls was separated into the fandom, but man, can't you put like love interests anywhere aside from the side characters, you know? Put love ships between like Trenderhoof and Applejack, make that alive again because I also ship that. Flash Sentry and Twilight. Continue that, please. In the end, though, the only one we really got, the only canon ship that we really have, is Mudbriar and Maud, Lyra, or was it Lyre? Basically, Lyra and Bon Bon, and Pinkie Pie and Cheese Sandwich. They had a child. Oh my gosh, Pinkie Pie, the usually energetic one. And the one people wouldn't think of as responsible has a child and a husband. Oh my gosh! The two princesses, Luna and Celestia, were useless most of the time. Shining Armor. I liked his and Twilight Sparkle's chemistry. It seemed real, legit, you know? Spike. Spike didn't deserve the abuse he went through when Twilight went to Ponyville. It's like child labor but instead for a baby dragon more so when he met rarity because she was a major butthole to him and to many other people i just hate rarity so much now there's cadence she's a nice pony i first saw her uh, when she was you know impersonated by chrysalis i hated her that instant she was mean oh my gosh i was thinking how the heck could shining armor marry this mean old i mean yeah she was so mean but eventually it was revealed she was a changeling yada 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 now she's a nice character 
and she is practically useless as well. Aside from being wholesome, she is useless, like the other two princesses. Now, let's go on to the villains. First villain, Luna, became a useless princess, but became a fan favorite. Second villain, Discord, I ship him with Fluttershy. He was reformed. In the end, they were still having tea. Please, are they married? Confirm, Hasbro? Huh, t -Rex. Wasn't reformed, turned into stone. But I think he could have been reformed. But I really like his scenes. Like, when he had that scene in Tartarus where Pinkie Pie was just annoying him. I liked his reaction so much. Plus, I ship him with Chrysalis. The Chrysalis. I like how her hair looks. I'm not gonna lie, her hair looks amazing. I like her character design. And her personality amuses me. Though I don't like mean people, I didn't like her impersonating Cadence. I like her personality in a way that it amuses me. Imagine watching Shark Tale and smiling while watching Shark Tale because it's so bad it's good. Cozy Glow. I hate her so much, no other comment. There's just so many other side characters. Villains, many villains, like Thorax, and many other people, ponies, I can't remember. Because there's just so many and everyone has their own personality. I could just talk about them for hours, but I can't. So maybe if people would like to hear my thoughts on them, they could just comment or something and I'll do another video for the side characters. But now let's talk about the animation. The animation was okay. It had awesome battle scenes, the magic animation was good, and the colors, my my my, the colors, I really like the colors. But the 2019? 2018, I don't remember when it was released, the movie. Basically, the movie, I did not like the animation one bit. It seemed like the ponies' faces were smushed to the screen. It's like, their faces suddenly went flat. And ever since the movie, the animation of the TV show also went like that. They have pancake noses. And that's just weird for me. The animation was fine though. I could bear it. I still like it. It's animation. Now for the ships. The most important. <laughs> the most important part. The ships. My ship for Twilight. Sunburst. Flash and tea. That's it. My ship for Rainbow Dash. Quibble. Quibble Pants, was it? And Sorin. Yeah, I shipped them both. For Applejack, I ship her in Trenderhoof, though many people don't. I just like how devoted he is to her, that he is willing to leave his fashion crazed life behind and become a country pony just to be with her. Rarity, go die in heck. Fluttershy and Discord forever. Pinkie Pie, I like her dynamic with cheese. They make each other smile. They're both party ponies. They're meant to be. I have no comment. Because their relationship is just... Mwah. Oh my gosh. You couldn't find a more perfect couple in the world. Seriously though, the series has now ended. And the finale really tugged at my heartstrings. Because as the night season closed, a part of my childhood also closed. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic will always be a part of the childhoods of many people out there. Thank you My Little Pony for all the memories, for all the toys, and the ships, fan arts, Equestria Girl, yada yada. Just thank you for our childhood. Thank you for um, amusement. But thank you, My Little Pony, for making up a part of our lives that we will never, ever forget. R.I.P. My Little Pony 2010-2019